Hey, what's up guys and girls? In today's video, as you guys can see from my my player right here, hitting the half court green, I'm going to show you the best shot creating build in NBA 2K19. Now, this is the best my player for point guard, shooting guard, and small forward in my opinion, which I reckon is the best player all around for inside, outside, dribbling, everything like that. I made my guy right-handed just because I made him left-handed every other year. Now we've seen a lot more upside to having right-handed. It's just personal preference as it is. But I made my guy point guard, which is actually the wrong way to do it. What you want to do is make a shooting guard pure shot creator because the only difference is you get Hall of Fame. The only difference is you don't get Hall of Fame. You get the exact same Hall of Fame badges. that You get catch and shoot and corner specialist gold. And up and under special is gold as well. Then you got more sil you got less silver badges, but you got better gold badges. That's why this build is actually better than the point guard version. But it, it's all to each to their own. So as you guys can see, this is the point guard. This is the point guard's version of badges. You get more silver badges, but you do get less gold badges. But it's up to you guys. I made my guy a point guard. So if you guys want to have the the catch and shoot. And the corner special is gold. Go for the shooting guard if you want to have just the my build, which the build I I highly recommend is better than the shooting guard. Then gold, the silver to gold badges don't really increase by that much, but at the same time, the attribute caps do not change at all from a shooting guard to a point guard unless you change it. But obviously, you always want to make him six foot three because then you can speed boost when you're a ninety four overall. I believe you cannot hit that before you hit ninety four overall. I'm now a 92 overall one bar through my guy and he still hasn't hit, he's still at 84 ball control. This is what I'm, I recommend as well for the weight, 180 pounds. People made him 185, but I highly recommend 180 because your speed ball goes up by one and you don't lose anything else. And you're actually faster in my opinion, you feel like a little bit, you're gliding around the court more than with a 185. When I'm first to 185 point, point guard shot creators, my guy's always faster, which is just an upside. Now with the wingspan. This is personal preference, but you can go either minimum, two, one above the minimum, or two above the minimum. What I did was go not minimum, the one above minimum, because my guy has a 98 open shot mid range. But if you want to go down to this one and have 99 open mid range, go for your life. I just went for the 98 mid range because I thought it was more balanced. But I highly recommend going for the 99 open mid range because it will help you out a lot because you will not be going contested half the time anyway. So I highly recommend just going for the 99 open. But the moving does go down by one. That's the reason why I kept my guy to that because I like to make moving shots more often than just open mid ranges. I like to go off the fade. As you guys can see from the top right hand of the corner, there is a video to go watch how to master this build. Go check that out after you make this my player. Now these are the shots and dribble moves, all the animations that I recommend you guys go equip to your player. Athletic dribble, dribble pull up, athletic three. A lot of people have been asking me, that is the one I use. So as I say, go watch that video on the top right hand of the corner, how to dominate. We'll have part two of that video, how to dominate on rec center and, my, and 3v3s tomorrow's video that will be. So go check that out. I've got some more videos coming out for defensive tips and all that. So make sure to stick around to the channel. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button on this video if it helps you out at all. Circus layups and rim grazes of two and basic two handers. I need to do the baseline dunks. I don't think I can get them just yet, but I haven't had a look. But this is what my player looks like right now is a 92 overall with these maxed out badges. The, obviously, the badges you want to go for first are mid range dead eye, Tyler scorer, and difficult shots. Limitless range, corner specialist, acrobat, catch and shoot. Limitless range. So I am doing another badge tutorial video as well. How to get every single badge in NBA 2K19. So all the shooting badges like mid-range dead eye, Tyler score and mid with difficult shots. How to get them really, really fast. How to get them like to Hall of Fame and under... I did mine in like 50 games of my career and then like 50 games of park. So I did a pretty fast one. I'm a faster method now. This is what my player looks like as well when he's a 92 overall. This is my... First or second bar, I can't remember which bar I'm up to, but I will be 93 if I grind a little bit more, which I'm taking a break from because Mercury, you know, is so dead boring. But obviously, I said I will be live streaming on Twitch, link in the description or on the top of the screen. Have a look at that, go copy it down, go follow me on there if you want to play with me anyway, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you're new. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.